parents send them to us every day for us to take good care of them. So we, we just want them to know that that's our first and foremost priority. An emotional superintendent of Bolivar School speaking to Color 10 after a school bus carrying dozens of third grade students crashed this afternoon. The bus was on its way back from a field trip. We're told more than half of the people on the bus were taken to the hospital. Color 10's Parker Paget is live in Bolivar tonight updating the story for us. Parker. Yeah, there were th yeah, there were 35 people on board when it crashed on this stretch of road here in Highway 13 around 2 or 2.30 in the afternoon. Now, people there were shaken up but are also thankful that the injuries were not life-threatening. In the recent history, we have not had a significant bus accident like this. A hay bale falling into the road leads to a crash involving a bus full of Bolivar students and staff. When a bale fell off of the trailer, uh, the driver was unable to avoid the bale and struck it, which caused her to lose control. That bus, which did not have seatbelts, crashed into a ditch, leading to injuries for 19 people. The teachers including, the bus driver was uh, significantly injured but uh, is in stable condition. We have students that range from uh, bumps and bruises to what we might might be sprains, we could have some broken bones as well. The district superintendent emotional about the day's events. Parents send them to us every day for us to take good care of them. So we, we just want them to know that that's our first and foremost priority. So we're, we just have a lot of students that are still getting medical attention. We want them to be in your thoughts and prayers. We talked to a grandparent of a student on the bus who says there should have been no reason these children should not be safe on our school buses. My grandson is shook up pretty bad and has bruising on his shin, but otherwise OK. My heart goes out to every child and adult that was involved. Students who weren't injured were transported to the district office to reunite with their parents. Parents have been very cooperative. That is, when your child is injured or in an accident, you want to get to your child as fast as possible. And, and we completely respect that. But in those type of crisis situations, we have a, we have a procedure. 911 assist us with that, the sheriff's department. The superintendent is thankful it wasn't worse. It's just a matter of making sure that you just pray for the safety of everybody. But you just want everybody to be safe. The grandparent I spoke to says she wishes that there were seatbelts on that bus. Now, police say they've spoken to the driver of that hay trailer as they investigate this crash. Reporting live in Bolivar, Parker Paget, Ozarks First.